Hi, welcome to 5 Minute Guitar Lessons. In today's lesson, we're going to learn There is a Light That Never Goes Out by The Smiths, and that's on the album The Queen is Dead from 1986. Before we get started, I have a couple things to let you know. First of all, this song uses a capo on the 4th fret, so when we're putting our capo on, we want to make sure it's right beside the fret. You get a nice clean sound that way. Secondly, take a moment to look in our description underneath this video, there's a link to our chord chart for this song that'll help you follow along with this lesson and with the original recording. All right, here we go. Here are the chords we'll be learning for this song. C. F. G. A minor and D minor. Now let's try playing the verse together. We're just going to do four downstrokes per measure. One, two, three, four. The strumming pattern in this song goes down, down, up, up, down, up. And we can learn that in two parts. First we go down, down, up. And then we go up, down, up. Putting that all together, we get down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, now let's try that out over the chords to the verse. One, two, three, four. capo on the fourth fret and all that does is it takes everybody's all the shapes that everybody knows all these open chord shapes like um, C F G all those ones and it turns them into entirely different chords you're still playing a C shape and for our purposes I could tell you hey play C with a capo on the fourth fret and you'd get it but really you're actually playing an in this case an E chord the F is actually an A chord so it's important to know that that's how an easy way to change keys on guitar. Another thing that's important to know is if the song falls out of your vocal range, say the singer in the tune is singing like super high and you can't get that high, you could always lower the capo down a bit and then use the exact same shapes, play the song the exact same way you learned how to do it, and you'd be able to sing along with it because it would be a bit lower. And likewise, for if you have a high voice, you could put the capo way higher. All right, so we'll show you the chorus now at the original speed. And 
Now we can try playing the chorus together a little bit slower. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 